Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In the last session, we have seen how to find out the rank of the word Mississippi. In this session, we will see how to use the shortcut method to find out the rank of the same word. So let's go back. We know what we have to do. First, we have to rank the alphabets according to their order. So starts with I, 1. How many I's are there? After I, we go to M, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, that's three rank, O, P, Q, R, S, so there are four S. So it's always better to write down what are the repetitions, so I'll just go ahead and I'll write down at the top, there are four I's, there are four S, and there are two P's, so that whenever I have to do repetition, I have to take care of the repetition, I can easily use this particular logic. Okay, very nice. Now let's start. What we have to do, what is our first step, do you remember? The first step is, I have to start from left to right and see how many numbers are there which are less than that particular number. So less than two, how many numbers are there? One, two, three, four. So can I go ahead and write down here, 4. Now less than 1, how many are there? 0. Less than 4, how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have 5. Next, similarly for the next one also, from 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because 1, 3 are less than 4. Less than 1, how many are there? 0. Again, less than 4, I have to start from here. So, right of this, how many are less than this? So, 1, 3, 3, 1. That's nothing but equal to 4. Again, for the next to 4 also, 1, 3, 3, 1. That's nothing but again 4. Less than 1 is 0. Less than 3 is 1. And less than 3 is 1. And less than 1 is 0. Shall I repeat what I have done here very quickly? What I have done is very simple. I just went to that particular number. I have checked to right side of that number. How many numbers are less than this indirectly? How many letters I have to cross in the dictionary so that I can come to this particular letter? So, I want to go to M. I have to cross I's. So, how many I's are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. But anyway, we will take care of the repetition. So, don't worry about that. When we take care of the repetition, it will be taken care. Okay. So, this is what we have to do now. After that, what I have to do, do you remember? The next step, what I have to do is, I have to write them factorials, right? Starting from right to left. So, this is 0 factorial. Then, this is 1 factorial. Then, I have 2 factorial. Then, I have 3 factorial then 4 factorial, then 5 factorial, then 6 factorial, 7 factorial, 8 factorial, 9 factorial, and 10 factorial. Now, this is what we have done. Now, we have to take care of the repetition also, right? Now, before that, you know that I have to multiply all of them. I have to multiply them. I have to actually divide for the repetitions. I will do that, but just let us put a into mark there so that we know we have to multiply this. Okay, good. Now, next step. I have to take care of the repetitions. How to take care of the repetitions? To take care of the repetitions, I have to start from this number. I have to look to the right side, including that number. How many repetitions are there? So, everything is there in Mississippi. That means I know immediately there are four I's, four S and two P's are there. So, that is taken care. The next one I am not going to do because we are going to multiply with 0. Anything multiplied with 0 is 0 only. So, I am not going to touch it. Let's go to now next yes here. We have one I is gone. That means factorial 3 for I's. Yes are intact. So, there are two P's are there. So, that's nothing but factorial 2. So, that is factorial 8 divided by factorial 3 into factorial 4 into factorial 2. Now, let's go to the next one. When I go to the factorial, when I go to yes, this yes, what is there before as 1m, 1i and 1s? So, 1i is gone, that means it's factorial 3. 1s is gone, that means it's again factorial 3. And the two P's are there as it is. So, that is factorial 3 into factorial 3 into factorial 2. Now, this 
I am not going to do because I know 0 into anything is 0 only. So next afterwards we have yes here. So we start from here including this how many repetitions are there. I see 2 yes, 2 i and 2 p. So I can write down factorial 2 into factorial 2 into factorial 2. That is taken care. Now let's go to here. If I start from here how many repetitions are there? 2 i's are there, 2 p's are there. Can I write down divided by factorial 2 into factorial 2. After that there is a 0 so I am not going to do with it and after that we have we are here now that is p p i that means I see factorial 2 divided by p's are repeating two times. So that's nothing but factorial 2. Now when I go to the last one there are no repetitions so it remains as factorial 1 only and 0 anyway we are not going to do because it's a 0. Now next step what I have to do is I have to find out these values. I have to find out these values and I have to put them there and I have to multiply them and I have to add them out. So let's do that one by one step. We'll try to find out each of these values. This is what I have to multiply now. So I will leave some space here for calculation. So I will do the first one. Factorial 10 is 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into factorial 4 divided by factorial 4 into factorial 4 is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into factorial 2 is 2. Now factorial 4 factorial 4 will go then afterwards I have 4 into 3 into 2 into 2 which is nothing but 12 24 48 so 8 and 6 will go this is done so left out is what 10 nines are 90 97s are 630 635s are 3150 and I have to multiply that with 4 I will write down 4 into 3150 plus after that now next I have to do factorial 8 divided by factorial 3 into factorial 4 into factorial 2. So let us do that 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into factorial 4 divided by factorial 4 into factorial 3 which is equal to 3 into 2 into 2. Factorial 4 and factorial 4 will go 3 2's are 6 gone. 2 will go in 8 4 times. So 4 7's are 28. 28 5's are 140. So I have to multiply that with 5. So I will write down 5 into 140. That is our next step coming from here. Okay. Then we have to go to the next one. That is factorial 7 by factorial 3 into factorial 3 into factorial 2. So for that what I will do? I will write down 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into factorial 3. That factorial 3 will cancel with 1 factorial 3. I am left out with 3 into 2 into 2. Now 3 2's are 6 gone. 2 will go 2 times. So I will have 7 5's are 35. 35 2's are 70. I have to multiply that with 5. So it is coming here. I will write down 5 into 70. After that Next we will go here. There is 0 so we are not going to touch it. Now 4 into factorial 5 by factorial 5 is 120. 120 by 8 is 15. So I can directly write it down plus 15. After that factorial 4 by factorial 2 into factorial 2 that is 24 by 4. I will write down 4 into 4 into factorial 4 by factorial 2 into factorial 2 which is nothing but equal to 6. So 4 into 6 plus after that what else is left out? 1. 1 into factorial 2 by factorial 2 which is equal to 1 only plus again we have 1 into 1. So plus 1 for the last word we have to give. Now we have to simplify this. Let's simplify this. Now we will add them up. We will have 12,600. 4 into 3150 that is. Plus 5 into 140 which is equal to 700. Plus 5 into 70 which is equal to 350. Plus 4 into 15 which is equal to 60. Plus 4 into 6 24. 
after that 1 plus 1 plus 1 there are 3 so we add all this and we will be getting our answer let's do that 13 12600 plus 700 13300 13650 13710 13734 and 13737 this is the same answer we got when we did by the general method also the, so that's how you can use a shortcut method and you can easily find out the rank of a word so what are the steps we have to do the first step we have to rank them according to their alphabetical order second step we have to look from that number see the right side how many numbers are less than this particular number write it down the third step you have to start from right to left putting or uh, placing them 0 factorial 1 factorial like that then afterwards if there are repetitions you have to take care of the repetitions for taking care of the repetitions you have to see including that particular word to the right side how many repetitions are there so if you are able to do that and we multiply them and we add them together we will be getting the rank of the word in the shortcut method so that's the rank of Mississippi using the shortcut method. Thanks for your time and support. Please do let me know your feedback. Bye for now.